All right, so how do you set up Instagram influencer post? What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I set up my Instagram influencer post and just some key things you guys should be looking out for. For those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over to the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do. If you fit that description, of course, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button. Now, uh, I know I've, I've spoken about Instagram influencers in previous videos and kind of showed you guys you know, how to find them, uh, things to look out for, and a lot more like that. But if you guys want to see you know, a lot more uh, content around Instagram influencers, make sure you drop a like on this video. And of course, if there's anything specifically that I haven't already went over when it comes to Instagram influencers, make sure you drop it in the comments below. And of course, I'll try my best to make a video around it. So uh, to kind of get started, I have some things here in my computer to kind of show you guys. So what we'll do is we'll kind of go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys my screen and you know, we'll kind of go over some of the things I have outlined for you guys. Okay, so a lot of you guys know, usually when it comes down to setting up these Instagram influencer posts, obviously we get all of our products from AliExpress. So usually, you know, we start here when it comes time to you know, actually find the products, find pictures and all that great stuff. So there's a couple things I wanted to kind of go over when it comes to the kind of images you use and the things you should be looking out for. There's a lot when it goes down to it. Now, you guys that are watching this probably aren't going to be the first ones to, you know, run an Instagram shout out, right? One of the things I want to say off the, you know, right off the start is you want to find ways to differentiate your shout out compared to other people's people are going to be already numb to seeing that same image similar ad and things like that and they're not going to respond and be open to actually clicking on your ad right so you got to find different ways to do that so when the time comes to you know actually find images uh, i'm going to show you guys some things that i do to kind of try to stand out as much as i can with my instagram influencer post for example for this we'll do cat eye sunglasses right our second or third month and we sold a, a ton of these I actually made a video uh, showing you guys you know how this product actually crushed it for us it was one of our first products that made us 10k in our store so this is one of them i'm gonna show you guys the exact specific one obviously we're gonna go to cat eye sunglasses find the ones that have the most orders and obviously some of you guys you may have already seen these glasses but it's these ones right here you can see it has 9,000 orders so these things have been sold all over when we started selling them there was already other people selling them but we still managed to you know obviously crush it with these as well in the marketplace there's more than enough room for everybody to you know find a product crush it but for also for somebody else to find it and make some sales with it as well you don't want to have a scarce mindset thinking like oh only one person can sell this product like no i we've sold products when i say we me and my business partner we've sold products that other people have already sold a ton of like tons like crazy amounts of and we still managed to crush it and stand out and make sales so there's just specific things you want to do uh, that can definitely help you have a better chance of crushing with the product so one of the first things of course is images right when it comes down to advertising and marketing images are everything right people buy based on the image what makes them want to click on it is the image when we do you know email marketing one of the biggest factors that determines whether an email gets a good amount of clicks or it doesn't is the images that we have in a whole lot more right and the types of image so you want to make sure when it comes down to images what I would do is I would start going through different Instagram influencer pages that are already selling these exact same glasses right and then from there what I would do is I would start looking to see if there's any posts that they have done with these glasses and look for the picture and image that they have already used and the reason why I want to do that is because I know that a lot of the a lot of us drop shippers of course to get the products from aliexpress and we use a lot of the same images so i know that most likely a lot of the people that are selling this product if it's hot and it's selling really well they're probably using image like this because it's like the most common one it's the easiest image to just use because obviously it looks good and things like that so i want to look to see if you know if they are using this image i want to make sure i try to stand out and find an image that isn't this one but looks just as good right and the reason why i want to do that is because again i want to differentiate myself from everybody else second thing i like to do is go around and find images of people actually wearing or using the product that's usually huge and a lot of the uh, you know bigger advertisers they usually have all their products usually being worn you know on other people and that's how they market them and that's usually that's for a reason there's a reason why they're doing that and of course if it's working really well for them then of course it's going to work really well for anybody else that does it as long as you do it correctly and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can find different images rather than just the ones on aliexpress simple ways you guys can do it so we're gonna go here on google 
And one of the easiest ways you guys can do it is literally best cat eye glasses, cat eye glass glasses images. We'll just type it in. I, I, that's probably not spelled correctly, but we'll just type it in. Best cat eye glass images. Then we'll go to images. And then we'll literally go here and on Google. This is like an easy way to find uh, tons of different images of the exact same product because Google has so much data and information, of course. You know, you're usually able to find other images. So I'll go through here and literally just start looking for different images of you know other people wearing you know these specific cat eye glasses, right? So again, we want to find clear images. We don't want to find images that are blurry or anything like that. Images. So I'm gonna just check this one more time. Then if I can, then I'll spend a little more time on uh, Pinterest. But I definitely want to see you give it at least one last shot because I pulled up some before. I know obviously some of the images. I'm gonna see if I can find some of the ones that we've used when we actually ran this as an ad. So we'll screenshot this. I usually like to have options just in case. And I also like to split test as well. So I like to have definitely options for that reason. So we have one, not bad. I'd keep looking a little bit more, at least for two. So I go on Pinterest and now here you can see that they have way better quality images and a lot of different styles. So I'll go through here and see if I can find, you know, obviously images within cat eye glasses. What I'll probably do is I'm trying to see if I can narrow it down maybe sunglass specifically. So I found this image here which looks super clear. Nothing else is popping up. But basically I would that's the process that I would go through for sure when it comes to picking out images. And the reason why I would do that is because again I want to find different images that people aren't using right off the jump. And usually people are using again the images on AliExpress. So now to kind of get started on the design of the actual post. So we'll go here, create design. Obviously you guys you may or may have not have heard about Canva, but Canva is super great. It's super easy to create, you know, and edit different images and a lot of things like that. So, you know, we use Canva pretty often for a lot of different things, but you literally can go on here, create design. They already have the setup for an Instagram post, the exact, um, you know, dimensions and all that great stuff. So you can literally go on here. Now I'm gonna go right here. I'm just gonna upload the image. So I screenshot, I got my image, boom. So now we have our image here. I wanna make sure Let's let's fit it, let's fit it all the way up to the screen. So then we would look to see what kind of text we want to have. So usually when it comes onto the text, you want to make sure a couple of things, right? First, you want to make sure the text is clear and easy to read. You don't want to make it complicated. You don't want to make it hard for the customer to read with the ad and the message you're trying to get across. Now, when it comes down to the actual text, you include some of the cognitive biases, right? I made a video going over some of the biggest things when it comes to you know marketing that you guys should be looking out for. But the cognitive biases, different things like you know reward, urgency, scarcity. You guys. I've probably seen a lot of these. So you wanna make sure, first off, for this for these glasses, we ran a free plus shipping um, for these glasses specifically, right? So for us, you know, I would type something up in the matter of, first off, we'll, we'll choose a heading. Uh, I'll probably just go with like, maybe this one right here, this one looks decent. So we'll go with something like, first off, we'll, we'll put a, Good shape. We'll put in like a little box here. So, of course, we're gonna include the words "free." You know, we're gonna make sure we have that. We're gonna make sure we make that huge so people know off the jump that it's a free, you know, product that we're promoting. We're not obviously gonna be charging these people. They're gonna pay shipping, but free. And then in the bottom, so you can see here how I have this set up so far. Uh, there's other things you guys can include, right? You can do things like. You know, limited time offer. You can write in like, just restock on our all-time favorite sunglasses. And this is just an example, right? So this is literally though how you want to set this up. You know, these influencer posts, and it's super easy. It's not too hard. If you can't get any ideas, because I literally just did this out of the blue. Now we have our team. You know, my team helps me set these up and I let them do it. I just kind of oversee them once they're ready to launch. I kind of just do them on the go. These are super simple. It doesn't take too much time. And if you literally have, can't figure out how to, 
set your up your own set up your own you can literally go on instagram and look through different influencer pages and just get some ideas of how other people are doing it uh when i first got started that's actually what i was doing i was literally just going through other pages seeing how other people were doing it and you know making mine similar to theirs but it's not that hard canva is a super great tool you guys can all take advantage of um you can use this for different things like making your your pictures for facebook you know you can even make thumbnails for youtube your instagram posts and a whole lot more so i'd recommend to you guys to check out canva get used to it uh, that's pretty much it i didn't have you know too much else to kind of go over i hope you guys got value from this video of course if you did make sure you drop a like if you have any questions and if you want to see a lot more content around instagram influencers let me know what specifically drop it in the comments below and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the vfam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace